I'm just rejected all the time without being given a chance. It makes me furious. I try to be nice, but it makes me lash out. Yeah, bro, it's like sometimes I just get so nice, like so nice that I just lash out and insult people, but it's really just my niceness that is causing that. Like I'm an asshole due to how nice I am. What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh back with another video from r slash nice guys. It's been a crazy weekend, you guys are full of crazy support. Let's keep it going with another great video for you. Let's dive right in. Hold on guys, are you kidding me? You guys bought so much merch, but the store went down. Literally, like we ran out of everything. But because I love you guys so much, we restocked and reopened just for this weekend again. This is the first and possibly last time I will ever drop merch, so it's your last chance to get your hands on that Alpine green hoodie. Link is in the description. The fastest way to make a girl lose interest in you is 1. Make sure she gets home safe. 2. Call slash talk to her all the time. 3. Compliment her every day. 4. Buy her gifts. 5. Overall, give her all the love your heart can give out. But fresh, you must be yelling at your phones right now. This is satire. It's a joke. And to that I say, no. Or at least, I don't think so. And beyond that, the TikTok comment section definitely doesn't think so. Though that doesn't come as any surprise. Ultimately, all of these things lacking context can be not nearly as nice as you're trying to frame them. Wanting someone to get home safe, great, but being pushy to drive someone home or walk with them when they don't want you to, not great. Being a good communicator who wants to participate in mutually engaging conversations, awesome, but expecting texts and calls 24-7, not respecting any space, especially in early relationships, not so awesome. Buying small gifts on occasion that show how you care about a partner, no problem, but buying somebody a $400 iPod when the secret Santa budget was $20? Come on, man. Situations where it's appropriate to give all of the love you have to give a life partner, somebody you're married to, serious relationships, but that same love would not be remotely appropriate for someone you've seen a few times or just started talking to. Context is the name of the game, and this fella is lacking any. Okay, in all seriousness, you are obviously getting older, and women do not age gracefully. And from the looks of your headshots only in your profile, I would guess that you're probably a little overweight. If I were you, and if I'd hit the wall already, and if I was a little overweight, I probably wouldn't be so picky. If you have an attractive man interested in you, and he has a job and he seems nice, you probably should give him a chance. If not, you may find out that you are in for a lonely time from now on. You aren't young anymore. And women's SMV, what is SMV? I've done dozens of nice guy videos, and what the, let me Google this. SM, oh great, it stands for sexual market value. That's a normal way that people talk about other people. Anyhow, your SMV goes down considerably after 30. Just saying. Women seem to think that they will have the same options their entire life, which simply isn't true. Your ability to even track a man is coming to an end. Yeah, see, insulting and negging and other mundane, run-of-the-mill, nice guy openers weren't quite enough for this guy. He had to write a multi-paragraph essay on how entropy means that you should sleep with me. I'm sure that'll work out great. LOL. You know what I low-key hate? Guys that ask girls for nudes. What a gentleman. Like, as much as I want to see your body, haha, <laughs> I would never ask you ever, LOL. It's just so rude and disgusting of a guy to do that. Yeah, that's right, I'd never ask for nudes. That's gross. Instead, I'll separate myself from those gross guys and take the higher road by only heavily implying that I deserve nudes. That'll really show that I'm a nice guy. Warning post for capital G guys. This is the status of relationships for us guys. Genuine, honest, and eligible guys are not valued. Girls on this page. I need someone to cuddle, to be romantic with me. I need a BF in life. We have so few guys on here. Handsome guy gathers all the courage and posts on the page looking for GF. Responses like this. 198 reacts. Imagine, 198. And not even 10 applications. And then, they say we will die single. Yes, you will. Hashtag handsome and disappointment. Wait, hold on. Honestly, the post itself is it's classic, it's typical. We know that's whack. What I'm confused by is these freaking tags. What are these? Hashtag handsome and disappointed. Hashtag I am handsome. Well, I've heard he's humble too. So I really like this, but I don't know if I can make that price work. Could you give me a discount? I wanted to buy this for my son for Christmas. You're really asking me for a discount? Well, I already told my son he could have it. 
Do you really want to ruin his Christmas? Oh, no, I guess I don't. Yeah, I'll take 15% off. R really? Uh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I didn't think that would work. Oh, no, it didn't. This is just a fresh video sponsored by Ridge. Everyone gets 15% off for the holidays. That's right, guys. It's that time of the year. The holiday season is upon us. You're looking for the perfect gift, and the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallet, is going to hook you up. Check out any of their premium wallet products, ball out with a little bit of real gold, class things up with some titanium, whatever you want, and through December 8th, you can use code FRESH for 15% off your order. Say goodbye to that old bulky wallet and bring in the new year with Ridge, the sleek light industrial wallet. Head over to ridge.com forward slash fresh to check out their full catalog, and remember to use code FRESH for 15% off through December 8th. That's ridge.com forward slash fresh. From 9gag.com, that reputable journalistic news source, woman kneels in public and begs Suter to give up after chasing her for five years. Look, I know it's toxic, but at some point, maybe it's kind of cool that she finally understands your dedication. It's an honor to see her cry for your desperation. I know it's bullshit, though. We don't know the backstories. LOL. All right, so just as a PSA, if any of you guys ever find yourselves even remotely close or approaching to this position if you ever find yourself using the phrase it's an honor to see her cry for your desperation stop just stop you've gone too far probably by a lot at that point why be like this it's time to reevaluate this chief as some would say is not it i'm the kind of guy you date when you see how well i treat you compared to your previous abusive slash borderline abusive relationships then after nine months, you gain confidence and self-value, so you decide that you can date a more handsome, stronger, wealthier man. Then you realize all men are idiots, then you go lesbian, and find true happiness. Now, while a lot of this is confusing, my favorite part is the classic nice guy ideology that anybody that a potential partner has dated or is currently dating is abusive or borderline abusive based on the simple fact that they are not currently dating you. I just had to sit and wait for a while, so I wrote this, guys, I'm just gonna warn you, this one's a lot. I'm not saying it can't be entertaining in some ways, but it's a lot. You're an early 20s female, duh. You likely have poor interactions regarding men leading to a form of distrust regarding that gender. Your parents are divorced, I'm guessing you side with your mother. You simultaneously are also interested in sexual activities with men, but this distrust leads to internal cognitive dissonance. You feel as if men take advantage of you or, by projection, all women. This has led you to explore wider sexual concepts and feminist principles in order to find answers or comfort. However, you neglect to realize that some of these negative interactions are also your own doing. That it may not be men, but rather how you present yourself or even your own choices that causes problems. Likely, you want sexual interactions with men, but also feel some sort of guilt or negative emotions leading to blame on the other participating party. You're an emotional girl whose emotions often overpower logic. You fall back on emotions or displace blame rather than directly dealing with issues. This proves you are high in agreeableness. You want sex and relationships, but the sexual intersections that are even encouraged by feminist principles, like hooking up, often leave you feeling awful. Your academic skills lacking in hard science or general ability. You likely study for a degree relating to social services or education. Both are female-dominated areas of study, which further insulates from fields of study where more men are present. You are of average intelligence with social services, containing generally a more average IQ than most fields of study, although part of me feels you could be LD. If you're compensating for an LD, that might raise your IQ slightly and explain your interest in fields relating to LDs. Okay, what is LD? Why are there so many weird acronyms in this video that I've literally never heard of before? Okay, I'm looking this one up. L-D. Oh, I think it stands for learning disabled. I don't... I don't know how to react to that. Is he saying that you're dumb, but that's okay because you have, like, an actual learning disability? Is that... Is that the argument? I'm stunned. And as if that weren't enough, he finishes with one of the most stunning uh, feats of logic that I have seen in any of these videos. Or if you say that's not true, I'm guessing that's a coping mechanism to deal with insecurity. What incredibly quick thinking on this guy's part. Great argument, Chief. Either my bizarre and super creepy overanalyzation of somebody I barely know is completely accurate ideally in a way that impresses you, or you're just too insecure to admit that it's completely accurate in a way that impresses you. Checkmate, atheist. Feel free to sleep with me whenever. 
Women are more likely to date a rich asshole with no personality other than Bakugo from MHA than a genuine nice guy who actually cares about their well-being. I'll be honest, guys, I'm not 100% sure what this post is saying, but once we get into comparing relationships to anime characters, it's time to move on to the next one. When you're trying to impress a girl by being nice and respectful, but then some other guy comes around, punches her in the face, and grabs her ass. Defeated male leaves. I sure as heck hope this one's satire, because I just refuse to believe that the expression Sigma Grindset could ever be used unironically. I've been thinking a lot about this, and there really is no reason I should not have a girlfriend, and I genuinely think I'm entitled to one. But you're probably ugly and have bad hygiene. False. I shower on the daily and am quite attractive. You probably don't have a job or a stable income. Again, false. I make $80,000 yearly. While many here make more, this is more than enough to live comfortably and support a family. You don't know how to talk to women. Once again, false. I have studied women for quite some time and am quite familiar with their thought patterns and mannerisms. Women don't owe you anything. Yep, you guessed it. False. As a well-functioning, contributing member of society, it is of the nation's best interest I obtain a wife and breed by high IQ genes for the next generation. I understand women are largely impulsive and still rely on their evolutionary desires in picking a mate. Remember, I have studied them for quite a while now. These urges, however, lead them to low IQ thugs who are incapable of even sticking around for the child, and thus leads to a single mother epidemic we have now proving that women cannot be trusted in picking a suitable mate for themselves. We've let women have their freedom for years now, and we are seeing the effects of it in a decaying society. The government must step in and regulate marriages, and I am a prime example of someone who deserves a wife. Curious to know what you guys think. Oh, you're curious. You're curious? Well, I think some things are curious too. You say you're a well-adjusted member of society, yet you post incel-adjacent bullshit on 4chan. That's curious. You say you're a well-adjusted member of society, yet you lead a post with I am entitled to a girlfriend. Curious. You say you're a well-adjusted member of society, yet you try to scientifically support a claim that you're entitled to a mating partner, which is the only phrase I can come up with to describe the rhetoric of that last paragraph. Need I say it? It's curious.